Ladies and gentlemen, we're live on Twitch right now. The YouTube voice is going, and we are going to dive into something very interesting that I came across that I wanted to talk to y'all and kind of have a live react to. So let's check out this thread on Twitter from Jake Thomas. We're going to have the thread linked in the description for y'all so you can check it out there. And it's easily titled, I've studied thousands of YouTube videos to see what makes people click. Here are the top 10 elements in viral videos. So before we go any further, I want this to be very, very clear that viral videos are not necessarily plannable, but in, in my opinion, but not necessarily unplannable. So what I'm interested to learn here is if Jake is going to give us some value that, hey, maybe a boy can go viral, you know, but you can take this and apply it in other ways. And I'll talk about those as we see it that are outside of content creation. So let's dive in here. Okay. So a uh, nerd alert. So here, let me, let me, we're just gonna, we're just gonna make it a little bit more readable for you. Okay. So nerd alert, I've recorded 200 plus video titles in a database to make it into this database. A video had to have at least three X, the average views for its channel. Okay. These elements have ranked least to most common, and I've noted what percentage of the video have this element. So right off the bat, I like how he's organizing this. Okay. He's not just going off of like, show me Mr. Beast videos. Why are, why are they different? That's its own video because every single popular content creator also gets views because they're popular. But videos that do way more viewership than normal, that makes sense. And I'd like to explore kind of why that is. Okay, so first one, refute an objection. 5% of the videos refute an objection. Example, how to make money with YouTube shorts without making videos. Okay, so like, so a small percentage of them start off and refute is like to go against an objection, okay? So clearly, how to make money with YouTube Shorts, that's being done, that's been done many, many times without making videos. That kind of makes me go, excuse me? That kind of stops the scroll. You hear about this a lot. I guess also, as I'm looking at this, I guess a certain something is trending. Eden Yeager! You know, so, hey, editors, you can keep that in. Why is Eden Yeager trending? I don't know, but there it is, Chance. So, already we have some very in interesting stuff here and some obvious things that it's obvious, but you wouldn't necessarily think about it until it's shown to you, right? Something that is, we'll call it like controversial, like the without making videos is, is what makes this interesting. This is like, man, I don't really care. Oh. You know, like what's the Shaq meme where it's like he like licks and it, ooh, you know, that's that's this moment right here. It's like without making videos, kind of cool. Okay. But that was only 5% of those viral videos. Okay. 6% uh, of those viral videos are epic extreme topics. I made a giant 30 pound Kit Kat. So this I wanted like to dispel a myth really, really, really quick because you hear this a lot from YouTubers, especially in like the card game scene. You know, we've done a little bit of YouTube com uh, content over on our gaming channel, right? And a lot of these videos are like, I spent $30,000 on cards. And it's like, got like a big money sign and they're like, click or like, I bought out the entire store. Turns out it was only 6% of viral videos. So that this person cataloged. So as far as Jake's catalog, it looks like you don't have to spend exuberant amounts of money. You don't have to have these like extremely epic things in order to go viral. Now you can go viral with them. Okay. Like I spent a hundred thousand dollars on one camera AMA, you know, that could go viral, but comparative to other viral videos, they are in the minority. So that's kind of how to like, think about this, right? In viral videos, they are in the minority, but in videos, at least those epic extreme videos are still considered viral and have a higher chance to go viral. So here, here it is. Number eight, beginner tips, wowzer. So this is something that I've noticed a lot in my keyword research is 8% of videos are specifically for beginners. How to get your first push up beginner calisthenics and motivation. So this is something that we like to do quite a bit on our gaming stuff, especially where we have a bunch of beginner stuff for Subnautica. I have a couple of the videos that are in the pipe that I'm gonna be like putting out for y'all. So this is stuff that we've seen. I can attest to you some of our best performing videos are beginner videos, not just on these channels, but I have some other secret channels that, well, let's just say they're doing stuff as well. So makes sense to me, beginner tips. Uh, number seven. Number seven, time frame videos, 9%. 10K followers in 10 days, my new, my new strategy. So I also like to call this the, the get rich quick videos, right? Because what is implicit in this? I reach 10,000 followers in 10 days. If you're getting the thing that's going to get you the income or get you the cloud or get you the followers quick, 
right? So get rich quick. Also, that's also what I would call them. What's interesting about this to me is that the beginner videos are, are below this. So people are less 1%, you know, so it's just slightly less, but still less likely to click on a video that's like, hey, come learn this if you're brand new at something versus get the knowledge you need super, super fast to do, to do the thing super, super fast. That makes sense. It's just something I wanted to comment on there. So, you know, number six is deep desire. What does that mean? How to change your life in three weeks by 2022. So this is a big jump. The last one, if I could scroll up here really, really quick, let me get the zoom right. The last one was only 9% and this one's 14%. So that's been the biggest jump that we've seen. So I, this makes me happy actually, that there's a way more people that are willing to like how to better your life, how to completely revolutionize whatever in just three weeks. So as I'm looking at this, I literally am having ideas come into my head about what kind of content I'm going to do. And I'm going to write them down later because that's, that's, I just had like three different ideas. So, so the biggest thing I think to take away from this is that this is the biggest jump that we've seen. So now I think we're going to start seeing like way bigger percentages. So when you think about, oh, um, the difference between epic, extreme, and beginner tips was like 2% of the viral videos. The difference between time frame and deep desire was 5%. So the diff the amount of people difference between number seven and number six was as many as was the last three, right? Because it was like between eight to, it was like six to five or six to nine or something. So the entire combination of these tweets of these uh, people was the difference between, geez, please, I just pressed it again, one sec, was the difference between uh, seven and six. So kind of why I'm so focused on this is because there's a lot of talk about there, out, out there in like the content sphere about what kind of video should you put out? What kind of content should you put out? It's really the hardest question to answer as a content creator. Well, let me just pause here in like the middle of this before we start getting some serious numbers. My easy answer to you is every single one of the things that this person's talking about. If you're a brand new content creator, and <laughs> maybe we'll make that video. Sheesh. If you're somebody that's trying to make content, refute and objection is definitely up there. Make your own version of this, of this kind of title. Make your own epic extreme video. Make a couple beginner tips. Do all of these. This, you can also read this as, what is my content template, right? Number five, four, went to 17%. There it is. Authority. How U.S. military linguists learn language fasts. That is incredible. I had not thought of that. Like you make it about, you take what the authority figure is doing and you distill it into the video. Again, I'm going to save this thread and just like, I already have a bunch of video ideas from this. Goodness freaking gracious. So fantastic stuff. So let's just hit this next one because I honestly, I just want to get through this because I just had like 16 ideas and I want to write these down. Sheesh. So number, number four, timelines, 20% of the video are timely news jacking or trend jacking. So this is something that I've been talking about. 20 Halloween candies you should never eat. Published a week before Halloween. Right, right. We try to put out game and news videos and I have to work with my editors to try to get them out faster because if we put out something like about the Pokemon Ninja drama, which we're not going to do that. It's just something that's, that's in the news still like to this day, even though it was like weeks ago. If you didn't put something out like that day, it kind of all the views kind of fell off, right? So this is something that I want newer creators to see. If you want to be relevant, an easy way to get people to pay attention to your brand is to talk about the current happenings and continue talking about them in a way that isn't just, hey, this happened. Don't be like Keemstar. You know, we don't have a lot of respect for that kind of content here where it's just uh, drama. I don't even know how he, how he does it. He has a weird intro, right? You know, I've seen it on clips, whatever. So he's just nothing but talk about drama and ooh, ah, and look at this fun stuff. If you can be a little bit deeper, then you're already going to outshine that kind of content. But it's a really easy way for you to get attention if you're doing news jacking, trend jacking stuff. Three, uh, number three, lists. 28% of the videos and our retweet button is just very large there. Sheesh. We're lists. Seven best purchases to make in your 20s. Wow. One third of the videos were lists. Seven tips. Top five tips. Top 10 tips, right? So, wow. Wow. When you're doing curated videos, you need to be doing basically these, you know? Uh, let's just keep going. Number two, negativity. 39% of videos use neg negativity. Three reasons you should not buy a Tesla. 40% used negativity. There's this 
thinking that I've seen to be true, not just in this, but in a lot of acts, a lot of other aspects, is that the emotional severity of winning a hundred dollars is less than losing a hundred dollars. What I mean is, if you lose a hundred dollars, you're like, ah, you're like really bent out of shape. You're really, really sad about it. If you win a hundred dollars, you're like, oh, cool. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. Like if you lose your favorite Lego piece, or your favorite pen, I don't know. You know, if you've got, if you've got a favorite pen that you're using, whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you lose that, you're going to be like, where the heck's my pen? I want to use this. And there's a lot of heavy emotion there versus when you find it, you're like, okay, great. Like the amount of positive emotions, this the amount of negative emotions, this, you know, that makes sense. Use negativity 40%. Wow. And the number one type of video that does the best viral content for YouTube is curiosity. 56% use curiosity. Example, why Alton Brown is warning people about San Mars and no tomato. Sure. So it's like, it basically asks the question and answers it. So it says the title is why also, why is Alton Brand warning people about this? But because of the way the title is worded, why Alton Brown is warning people, it says in the video, it basically gives a promise. I promise to answer this by the end of this video, right? And it's 56%, more than half of the viral videos are curiosity based, goodness gracious. And let me just, sum this up and then I'll, I'll do my closing thoughts here. More fun stats. On average, videos have 2.2 of the elements above and 50% of all videos have a number of them. So, 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 oh my gosh, that's actually, I was just about to ask this question. On average, videos have two-ish of the elements above, meaning that most of the viral videos were uh, negative curiosity, right? Like, why Alton Brown isn't warning people about San Mars, no tomatoes, you know, or, or, uh, like lists. So like top five reasons why Alton Brown is warning people. I'm just saying that because it's, it's just in this tweet right here. Right. So that's really, that's really interesting. And 50% of all videos have numbers in them. Meaning that even if you were at the bottom here, even if you were refuting an objection, how to make money with YouTube shorts without making videos, right? Something like, um, how I made $2 million with YouTube shorts without making videos, right? Still has a number in it, but isn't, you know, exactly that same thing. So super, super interesting. Uh, it, it ends with some other stuff. Let me just pop down here so y'all can, so can see it. Top 10 elements that made people click on YouTube. Curiosity, negativity, list, timeless. Oh, he's just summing it up. Okay. This is like the re, this is the retweetable tweet, which the last thing that I'll tell you about this tweet is, is this. I want you to look at how this is formulated, okay? Twitter is a microblog. That's the way to think of this. Is the last piece of this video. Twitter is a microblog. This was formatted in such a way that every single tweet was a point. Okay. That's really interesting. We have a thread right now going on about our Casey Nice that filmmaking class, right? And I didn't do this. I had him as like blocks of days, as like rambling sentences. When I see this, I had to be better about how I format my tweets because this is not exactly the easiest thing to, mine is not exactly the easiest thing to retweet. This is, this makes a lot of sense. So already the structure of this Twitter, of this uh, tweet storm is informing how you should make content on Twitter if that's something that you wanna do. And finally, there's a sum up tweet at the end. That's something I'm going to be doing with my Casey Neistat thread. That way, this is the one that see this one is like no retweets, even though it says, here's more fun stats. Here's the number one. Here's the one that everybody is retweeting. And sure, it's only it's only three, but whatever. It doesn't matter. People are still he did something correct that people then got him attention. It's not about the number of things. It's about what is getting attention. So and then finally, he ends with a nice C, he ends with a nice uh, a CTA. You can go learn more about the psychology of YouTube and all that stuff. Super, super cool. I love this format. I love that. We're going to link this in the description. I highly recommend you go follow Jake Thomas. And what I'll sum this up with is I'm literally going to go and I'm going to take almost every single one of those title tapes and I'm going to put it into my titles. Uh, I'm going to link this to my editors so that they can see these are some nice title types. And I'm going to start making some content about this because, man, it's not you can make a really good video a lot of value, but if it's not properly titled or thumbnails, nobody's going to click on it. So nobody's going to see it. So what you should be taking from this is make content that other, well, we talk about this a lot, make content that other people are searching, but format it in such a way that's intriguing, that there's a story behind like some of these.
So if you enjoy the content, make sure you press like. If you want more, press sub. We'll see you on Twitch. The link's in the description. Come on down. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.